on a day trip to Malacca today from Kuala Lumpur and currently on the bus it takes around two, two and a half hours to get to Malacca so yeah, ready to be informed with some history today booked our tour for a get your guide it was like 30 pounds each for the whole day we got picked up at 8 o'clock it's currently 25 to 11 Really? And we've just arrived in Malacca, yeah. Bubble wow. water. So Malacca is actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site and that is known for its significance in history with international trade routes being in the east and it gets its name from this tree here which is a Malacca tree. And there are some berries and bits on there and Malacca as the the city has got a lot of European influence as the Dutch used to rule here and then it was the Portuguese and also the British as well so yeah a lot of European influence Beth's already hassling me for a ride on the minion bike later so maybe that's what we'll do with our time here in Malacca. So it was actually the Portuguese that conquered here first and then the Dutch. And this is the only Romanian part of the ancient fortress which was built by the Portuguese guy that took over in 1511. And so it's made of all this stuff. And you see that this stuff here, like the cement that they're using, actually made with eggs, randomly. I feel like we use our eggs to scramble them and eat them in the morning, but they use them for cement here, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> I hope you said what they were mixed with. Yeah, eggs. Yeah, and what else though? Butter, Isn't... milk. No. Fry them off. <laughs> Alright, come on then, explain what, what they mixed it with. Yeah, they mixed duck egg whites with shells and corals to make like a cemented Cementing paste. Cementing cement. <laughs> <laughs> I do hope you can get some good Casta del Natas here. Excuse me? Casta del Natas. Casta del Nata? That's yeah, what it's called. That's the egg tart. No, it's what is the it? Casta del Donatas. Oh, right. Honestly, the one thing you should know is a Casta del Donata. Why? Wait. I'm not Portuguese. Oh, yeah, right. yeah, but everyone knows. Or just call it an egg tart. I didn't know, it was, I didn't know it was duck eggs, though. I don't think it is duck eggs. That's what he said. No, oh, he's just saying eggs in general. I think. No, he said duck eggs. What? No, no, but not in the pasta del, del tomato. <laughs> just had a spot of lunch. And now we're going for a little cruise down the Malaccan River. It wouldn't be a UNESCO heritage town without a hard rock cafe, really. What is that doing there? It's so historic. It's a crocodile. Yeah, well, there you go. Well, see you what, that boat. That was absolutely mental. That was a crazy boat ride, that wasn't it? Honestly, it's so crazy I couldn't film like most of it. It was just going way too fast. No, just like bouncing about all over the place. Sorry, don't mind me. That's just no Joe's look. Joe's nose growing. Some lies. <laughs> this is collaboration of coconut and brown sugar. Very gooey. Yeah. We have durian flavor also. You want to try durian flavor? Why not? Yeah, okay. It tastes like it. Durian flavor. It honestly tastes like beef. Is it? I don't, I don't think it tastes that bad. Yeah, your face tastes differently. I just got nearly choked on it. It's so, so slimy, isn't it? <laughs> Double action. It's a minion wagon. We negotiated a good price. Oh! oh. What a 
your wagon? That was the best uh, 10 seconds Honestly, of, of our trip. In the UNESCO heritage site of the world, the best experience <laughs> is going on the minion wagon. Has to be. <laughs> oh, I just misses you. <laughs> You're a bully. How did you find Malacca? I loved it. Yeah? It was colourful, it was fun, it was different. And we got to see the minions. Yeah. Right at the minions. What more could you need, eh? And I had a big old watermelon. And now it's raining. <laughs> Get me on the bus. Well, we're heading back to the bus now. It's our time in Malacca complete. A very whistle stop tour, but it's just a one day trip. So yeah, thoughts on Malacca. Pretty cool place. The streets are very colorful. There's a little bit to do here. I reckon a day trip is honestly like more than enough. I mean, it is for me anyway. I wouldn't really uh, think about staying more then one night here as yeah not masses going on but still cool to just walk around and learn about the culture of this city thanks for watching make sure you subscribe